baseball fans, and welcome. We've the Red Sox taking on the Seattle Mariners. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And on the hill, Luis Castillo. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make Maybe those plays and side. help you get through the innings. The All right, ready to get underway. And stepping Jerry in for Boston, Jaron Duran. The wind of the pitch. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Righty to the plate. Got him looking for the goal. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Now it's Devers at the plate. And that one is in for a strike. Castillo, an all-star a season ago, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. Lifted in the air, right center field. Rodriguez settles under it. Makes the catch for the out. And there's two down. Time now to check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you so important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives you know maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating you just hit one on the screws think it's going to go out of the ballpark and an outfielder is camped underneath it in front of the warning Whoa. track that's off the mark and that is ball one Two outs, space is empty. That's oh. inside, and the count's even at two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two-two. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. The pitch. No. And that one missing low. Wow, this guy's oh, really yeah. battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Two down, nobody on. <laughs> he didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Down in order, go the Red Sox. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back at T-Mobile Park, and today's starting pitcher, Brian Bayo. What should we keep an eye on here? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over Not in the strike zone where he wants? Yeah, it's tough to do to be able to command all of those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to get into the corner. Around first, digging for two. The throw into second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. And that 
that one fouled off. The Mariners knew what they had. Signed him in July of 2017 for a little under $2 million when Rodriguez was just 16 years old out of the Dominican Republic. The 0-1. Swinging a foul straight back. Fast forward to 2022 for Julio Rodriguez to win the Rookie of the Year. The Seattle Mariners One, were then compensated with the 29th overall pick in the first round of the draft in 2023. Part of the new CBA enticing teams to promote their good young players. And it's second. Goes down looking. That is third. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Polanco. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Rafaela settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Batting four. The designated hitter. Now Scott Service lined up for the Seattle Mariners. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big-time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because ah. guys that throw those sinkers, those two-seamers, no really strike. hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. And when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. Man on second, two down. This ball's chopped on the ground. Whips it to Casas. Third out. Mariners come up empty in their first try through an inning in Seattle. No score. Back here with my we pal singing. New out. inning getting started. Now batting season. Tristan Casas. Multi-time All-Star, 31 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Castillo back to work. Oh, he doesn't get the call. One and oh. Next offering is in for a strike. One Time one. to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit. So he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on when you're expecting it to become more consistent. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Tom hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Now fly ball to right center. Hanniger sizes this one up. Calls it in. And there's one away. That is good. The left hand. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Oh, man. There's a line drive to left field. And it's into the gap. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. And that's a double. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. So, man aboard. And now, Masataka Yoshida. That's in there. That's strike oh, one. Thinking about Yoshida, he's never going to be the biggest player when he's on the field. But that doesn't mean he can't hit. He gets on base and doesn't strike out very often. That combo makes you a valuable asset to your club. One out and a runner at second. Ball. That misses the zone, and the count is one and two. It's a good take.
Man at second. Sasson Blue looking. Fastball to letters frozen for strike three. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Sedin Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. There's the strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next offering is foul back. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the righty deals. Ball Just one. missed. Really good one take, ball. especially with two, two strike. strikes. O'Neal at second with two down. That's and ball. another ball. Two, two. And the right hander deals. Got him ah! looking. He didn't like the ball. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. Now to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ball. Go. And now the switch hitting catcher, Cal Raleigh. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The line and the pitch. Just missed. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. On the line, base hit. So, a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together for him. Got a change up and a pretty good that one, too. Outside Enough corner, but he it. just got extended oh. and put the barrel on it. Boy. Sure, there's a lot of plate coverage on that swing right there. Ty France digs in now. The other way. Dives for the bag. Got him. Double play. No left field. Luke Rayleigh Luke. up next for the Mariners. Rayleigh. Man, this is pretty amazing. This guy's very efficient out there on the mound right now. Just nine pitches in the first. He's got a chance to keep it to single digits again. Who does that? And it's fouled away. Rayleigh hitting seventh in today's lineup, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2016. Uh. Check swing. Did he go? No yes, he did. Two strikes. Second inning here, no score. One, Pitches two. in the dirt, and that's ball one. Two, that two. one almost got him. Swing and a ball popped up. Story drifts towards it. Brings it in. And that is that. We'll move to the third with no score. On to the third Leading inning. Off, now it's the, the second off. baseman, number second 47. And Manuel Valdez. The pitch. Ball. That misses, and it's one to know. Oh. 
swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Puts it away for the out. Here's the catcher, Connor Wong. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now batting Jaron Duran. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That one finds the corner. It's 0 1. Left hand batter waits. Ball one. One ball. Throw a second. He's safe. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. The 1-1. Fouled off. He was late. One out and a runner at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Next Here's offering two. way off the plate. Wouldn't okay. chase that time. Well, he's so great okay. about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. On the ground to the left. Fires over to he's first. Out. And that's an out. The bat, the third base, and it's Rafael Devers in the box. 0 for one with a fly out to center. Ball right side. He takes it Out. himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And the Red Sox leave one. Still no score. Back in Seattle, go. except yeah, for the go. bottom go. of the third. And now the right, the right fielder, right. Mitch Hanniger. Hanniger. Mitch. Ball, that no. misses. Ball one. Yep. And that's in for a strike. Ah. And a swing and a miss there. Good late one sink ball. on that Two fastball. Strike. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Foul ball still a one and two count. The line to kick the pitch. Ball, Just missed. Down. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Two two down. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And there's one down. Batting up. Here's Josh Rojas. Rojas. Right down to shoot. One one. There it was. Oh, oh. Here it is. Hit it. It gets a take, gets ahead in the count. One out, base is empty. 
ball. That's off the mark. And the count even one and one. Ball. And another ball. Righty delivers. Now one fouled off. Two and two. The line of the pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Still two and two after the foul ball. Got him swinging. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to Bama. even that count Not off the two balls ball. and two strikes. Great, but that time chased outside the zone. Ball. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, J.P. Crawford. Out towards right center field, Duran on his way over, and that'll do it. On to the fourth, still scoreless. Back at T-Mobile Park, start of the fourth. So stepping in for Boston, Trevor Story. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And a pitch. That one at the knees for a strike. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Rodriguez racing over to make the catch. Tristan now Casas the now at the plate. He's Tristan. over one. Casas. No. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Fourth inning underway, no score. No. Next pitch inside. misses inside, two and zero. Oh. He right. doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power of fastball, ah. but he's working a little differently here. The pitch, hard hit, right side. Steps on first out. for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping yeah, yeah, yeah. the ball out of the oh, air. Yeah. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Mm -hmm. Good execution. And next for the Red Sox, Tyler O'Neill. Doubled in his first A.B. Ball oh. one, no strikes. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Foul ball there. Right-hander kicks deals. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Hammer, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So up next, Masataka Yoshida. Ball, and that's no. outside. And that's ball one. 1-0. One -oh. O'Neal off of first with two away. In the air, left side. And that's the third out. One left for the Red Sox, and we're still knotted at zero. And we're back. Where Bottom of the fourth, stepping in, Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez. Bale. Back to work. That's it. He can't hang on. Not in time. Great effort 
but it's an infield hit. Well, he doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base. And when he does, that puts him in a position to do some damage, put some pressure on the defense as well. His wheels are truly a weapon out there. Now, here is Jorge Polanco. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Check on the runner, and he's back in easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And here it comes. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. No, Just misses with that one. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Ball. The next pitch misses. Two balls, two, ball. two strikes. Two strike. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Okay. And it skips into there. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. No, that's foul. And he deals. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. At the belt and fires. Hit on the ground might be two. Can't glove it cleanly. Over to Story for one. Well, it's a double play ball, but the bobble unfortunately prevented him from being able to get two. But a good job to stay with it and make sure you got at least one. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Grounded out his first time. Kicks and fires. Uh -huh. Strike on the inside corner. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. In there oh, safely. Hey. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. And the next pitch is way outside. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The one two. Ball and two. another ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Hard ground ball, base down. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And here's the first baseman, Ty France. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. No ball. One strike. Left field. O'Neill makes the play. Two down. The left fielder, number 20, Luke Rayleigh. Luke Rayleigh up next for the Mariners. 0 for 1 so far.
ripped, and this one could be extra bases coming home. One run is in. Now two runs score, and they lead by three. Nicely done. Brings home two. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Struck out swinging his first time. Foul ball. Rayleigh at second with two down. Oh, and two now as he swings through it. Oh, Very two. well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. Oh, Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here with my pal Ziggy, ready now for the fifth inning. And stepping in for Boston, Zidane Raffaello. The pitch. Pulls that one foul. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Here comes a pitch. And the one on strikes. And there's one down. Number 47 up next for the Red Sox. And he's got well, pop, which is a little ahead. sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite Whoa. field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Calls it in. Two away. Now back. The, the catcher. catcher. Connor Wong. Connor Wong getting ready to hit. One for one with a single so far. Wong, 27 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2017. Oh, and a good oh. eye there. And a foul ball. Two outs. That Ooh. one finds the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Two down. Nobody on. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. So they've been held scoreless through five. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mariners three and the Red Sox nothing. And welcome back to the ball. John Chami with my buddy Chris Singleton. And set to get us started. Bottom five, Josh Rojas. Hater back to work. And that one is lifted in the air, and it drops in. So now back to the top of the order. Now JP. So digging in, JP Crawford, one for two. Here's something cool, Boo. When they finished building T-Mobile Park back in 1999, they actually opened it up in the middle of the season. I remember as a rookie with the Chicago White Sox, we opened the season at the Kingdom, and then when we came back later in the year, we were playing at T-Mobile Park. 
It's a beautiful place. Great Ball. scenery from center field, and I always enjoy playing here. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Greg Weiser getting ready to go. Jakes also getting ready. The 1 0. And a foul ball. The 1 1. Base knock right field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. The center field, number 34. Julio Rodriguez will hit next. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. One Slider more. misses outside. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Here's a 1-1. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. Casas makes the catch, and there's one gone. The bat, number seven, second baseman, Jorge. And up next for Seattle, Jorge Polanco. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Wong makes the grab. Two down. Mitch Garver up next for the Mariners. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. First offering misses badly for ball one. One on count. Look for him to be aggressive here. He got some runners on base, an opportunity to catch a mistake and put some runs up on the board. No. Good chase that time. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. Ball three. And another ball. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. That ah. one finds the zone. Three and three one. Ball. One strike. Rojas on second. Crawford on at first with two down. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Duran settles under this one. Corrals it. That is the inning. Mariners leave a couple, but they lead it 3 nothing. Back at T-Mobile Park, digging in, it's the speedy the outfielder, Jaron Duran. Jaron Duran. The right-hander back to work. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Raleigh makes the grab one away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Devers now. Yeah, and here's a fun stat on Devers. He's at his best when he's hitting homers and doubles. And by the time he was 26 years old, Devers already had over 150 home runs and more than 200 doubles. He's just the 15th player in baseball history with those kinds of numbers at that age. To the right side. And he takes it himself out. for the out. The bat, the bat. number 10. 10. Short shot. Trevor. Here's Trevor's story now. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. That's in for a strike at 95, and it's 0-1. The one. shortstop takes the ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Three. That 
one catches the zone. Now one and two. That's and another ball. ball. Two outs. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Mariners three, and the Red Sox nothing. Joe Jakes taking over on the mound. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out You're of right, right here. Got to do his best now to keep the score right where it is. Number 78, Joe Jakes. Cal Raleigh Lady digs in now. The catcher. Cal As he turns on the rubber. Here with that good live arm delivers. That one ripped. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Man, boy, I love watching First an outfielder racing. take on the wall to make that play. And it's a Four. lot easier to watch from up here because... That can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. France in the box now. No balls and a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Renan Bernardino, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. And he really no sells ball. the changeup with that arm action. Ball. Next no. pitch just misses. And a count one, one and two. Inside. Good eye in that spot. That one called just inside, I think. And on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though. But he clearly thought it clipped the corner. One down, base is empty. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And that one actually would be grabbed by Story. No, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging no back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Now the left fielder, Luke Raley. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Two down, nobody on. And that one wrapped foul. The 0-2. On the ground. And foul ball. 0-2 now. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Swing and a miss struck him out. Nobody left for Seattle, but they lead it 3 0. Top of inning number seven, and now the first baseman, Tristan Casas. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. You can tell by their swings. This lineup is having trouble gauging speeds. Timing is everything in hitting, and right now they just don't have it. That clips the corner. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Gregory Santos appears to be getting loose. Stanek also throwing. Kicks and deals. Good job to fight that one off. some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one not just in terms of swing and miss but also in terms of command the only strikeouts they just kind of speak for themselves but when you don't walk anyone you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters O'Neill stands in now and watches strike one 
This pitcher has done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Ball one. Next offering is downstairs. The Red Sox trailing by three here at the top half of inning number seven. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. Two, two. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The pitch. Three, Swing three, and a miss. Pulled the string of the changeup. Way out in front of that inside pitch there. Uh -huh. Just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play clearly fooled but I think even more so you question oh. the two strike approach Yoshida at the plate and takes high there lifted in the air out to left Rayleigh makes the grab and that is that ladies and gentlemen please join us for the traditional seven minute stretch And we're back. Ooh, now it's the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. The right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Jakes back to work. Just missed. One ball, no strike. Ball. And another ball. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. That's in there, and it's two and one. And now the lefty caught him looking for the K. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual now, performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Rojas, batting with one down, takes a strike. The wind of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. That one gets down for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is that stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. He's in there. Back-to-back -back base hits. Just found a way to slap that one down the base line. That's a really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Grounder might be two. Feeds the second out there. And that's two. So no runs on two base hits. No errors and one man left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Mariners three and the Red Sox nothing. Back in Seattle, we go to the eighth. Still stepping in for Boston. Sidane Rafaela. The Red Sox in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. 
What makes him special is a lot of pitchers lose movement in their stuff the deeper they go into a game, but he's just different. We see plenty of break in his pitches, even when he's running a little low in the tank. 0 oh 2 now. Ball. And the pitch is outside, ball one. That one just misses. Two balls, two strikes. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Rojas drifts towards it. He's got it. And there's one away. Now back, second base. And then now. Here's the second baseman, number 47. Fall off foul. The Mariners leading by three, and we're at the top of the eighth. That's a hit. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Next to hit, Connor Wong. Oh, On the outside corner, going to Wong. No now ball. this team is definitely Let's looking strike. for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Ball. ball one there. Man at first, one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Got it. That's the second out. Oh, he was shopping at the buffer right there, the way that slider the made him look. That was just nasty. Jaren. So the lineup flips over. Jaren. And now the center fielder, Jaron Duran. First outside. pitch misses. No, Just that's missed. Outside. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. No, Just missed. Oh, he's looking to try to finish off eight solid innings out there on the mound. He's just getting to 100 pitches right now, man. It's been so impressive. He's been really good in this one. Righty to the plate. Right. That one finds the zone. Counts yeah. full three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. <laughs> and the Red Sox lead one. They trail it here, three nothing. Back well, now, new pitcher on the mound as we now, roll into the bottom of the eighth. Greg Weiser. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Weiser. Three, four, five do up for the home team. And stepping in for the Mariners, Jorge Polanco. Polanco. And a pitch. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. Weiser, a 6-2 righty, 235 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. Ball. Next pitch inside, and it's a ball to strike. To the right side, and it's through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. And 
And next is the designated the hitter, Mitch designated Garver. Hitter. Mitch Garver. That's towards center. Duran makes his way towards it. He dies, but he can't make the catch. O'Neal whips it back in. Rudder stops at second. And the first two reach to start the inning. The bat, the catch. And now for Seattle, Cal Raleigh. There's a strike. Fouled off. He was late. First and second, no outs. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. One, Next two. pitch misses way outside. Battling here as he fouls it away. That smash towards center. Makes the catch. Runner tagging for third. Not in time. He's safe. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. And here's the first baseman, Ty France. In the air, out towards right center. Rafaela on the move to the gap. Squeezes it. Runner tagging from third. It's a sack fly as he comes across to score, and they lead by four. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Luke Rayleigh up next for the Mariners. A strike. Well, a good slider from an opposite handed pitcher has to stay in that tunnel just a little bit longer. Otherwise, recognition can cause you to barrel it up. And right there, the hitter clearly couldn't do anything with it. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Duran pulls that one down, and that is that. Looks like he's heading back out for the ninth as he'll go for the shutout when we get back. Back here with my pal Singy, and here is Devers. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. First out here in the ninth. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. Ground ball left side. Low throw and he can't take it out. Oh, it looked to me like he got a great handle on the ball as it came out of his hand. Cold nights, not really fun to play in, and it makes it tough to hit as well. Makes it tough to throw, and might have played a factor right there. He's two outs away. Here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Tristan Casas. 0 for 3, a fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. That one fouled off.
Left hand hitter waits. Can't get there, and it deflects off him. Now bad. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Jaron Duran. Fastball in for a strike. And this one is off and running. Left-hand batter waits. That clips the zone, and it's 0-2. Oh, cool. night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. This is inside. Now one and two. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that's a fair ball. It's amazing to me that he was able to put the barrel on that one. I mean, that pitch was pretty well outside, but great extension and bat control through the zone allowed him to drive it the other way. That was pretty impressive. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Rafael Devers up to hit. Good speed Whoa. on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Foul ball there. The pitch. Ball. Castillo will look to first. Hey. And he's back in safely. The healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. Here's Trevor Story. Trevor Story. Castillo, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. Ball still 0 and 2. Righty delivers. Oh, yeah. That's on number two. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of score. Runner takes off in the air left field. Really makes the grab and that'll end the inning. One hit, one left. So now the Mariners offense gets to go to work for the first time. We've got no score. And we're back getting the nod in this one. Brian Bayo. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep yeah, hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot the same time. And that can make life very difficult on his opponents. And here it comes. J.P. Crawford at the plate now. That's ball one. And 
the pitch. Ball. And it is two and one. The wide to kick the pitch. Ball and three. another ball. Recognize that changeup okay. right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Outside, and that First is base. ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Rodriguez. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Missed at the belt and finals. Ah. In the air, right field. Now as it hops the wall and foul ground. Off the bat, I thought they were going to score their first run of the game, and that feels like a tough break, but look at the bright side. Really good contact at the plate, and now they're working with not just one, but two runners in scoring position, so they'd love another base hit right here. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Ball one. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Base runners at second and third here. No outs. On the ground to first. Nice and foul. it goes just foul. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Right-hander kicks deals. Well, Pitch two. misses there. Two and two. two. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. On the ground to third, Devers tosses across the first. One gone, bottom half of the first. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but... They've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the ah. opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Crawford on third. Rodriguez over at second with one down. Fly ball down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Here's the 0-2. One, two. In the dirt, but no advance from the runners. One down, runners at second and third. and misses it's a strikeout certainly a strikeout situation right there the infield right, right, playing right, right. back and this pitcher, pitcher has to step yeah. up and get the swing and miss Whoa. really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate pretty big two out at bat coming up now now a chance for Cal Raleigh swings and pulls it foul to the right side
Now pitch that. off the play. One ball, one strike. Two one. In the dirt. Wow, that's a great job behind the dish there. And a two one on the way. Ball. Wouldn't chase that time. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Two on, two outs. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments where everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. And now Ty France. And yeah, there's a ball. Two outs and fouled off. His eyes got big. He saw that changeup way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Two. And now one and two. Tough start for him so far. Already at 30 pitches here in the first. Mike Grounder into the outfield for a knock. One runs in. Here comes the throw. Oh, he's oh, a huge two RBI swing of the bat right there. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got a great run on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And up next for Seattle, Luke Rayleigh. That's yeah. in for a strike. First and second, two down. Ball and one. now it's even up. One ball, one strike. Out to short story. They take the force out. They limit the damage here. But two runs for them and they jump ahead. We'll head to inning number two at T-Mobile Park. It's the Mariners two and the Red Sox nothing. Back at T-Mobile Park, top of the second, and stepping in for Boston, Tyler O'Neill. Castillo back to work. Out to short, Crawford. On to first, and O'Neill is retired. That is it. The designated hitter. Now here's the Red Sox Yoshida. DH. Masataka Yoshida. Yoshida measures 5 feet 8 inches. Batting 6th in today's lineup. And though usually in left field today he's the designated hitter. One down. Base is empty. And a foul ball. Some guys don't like not being able to play defense because it helps them to stay in the rhythm. So for him to be the DH, we'll see if he gets a routine together. Pitch one, in the two. dirt. Going to count one and two. Ball. And another ball. The 2-2. Two, two. Popped up. Polanco makes the grab, and there are two down. Batting seven, the right fielder, Sidane Rafaela. Two outs, base is empty. Sidane Rafaela now at the plate. Right through there for a strike. Ball, Misses no. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Ball. That one inside. Two and two. 
The Red Sox trailing by two here at the top of the second. Taps softly to the right foul. side, and that's just foul. Out to short. Fires to first on the run. Red Sox go one, two, three. Three up, three down for him there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Mariners two and the Red Sox nothing. And welcome back to the ball. Park. We head to the bottom of the second. The right and here is Mitch Hanniger. Hanniger. Hanniger, 33 years old. And they traded for him earlier this year. Here comes a pitch. No, Just missed. Singy, he wasn't real sharp in the first, got hit around, but really more so, didn't throw a ton of strikes. Well, he's just got to find a way to settle down. He was clearly fighting himself out there, not really finding the strike zone, walking batters. So we'll see if he can get back on track and fill up the zone a little bit more. Out. And they take care of Hanniger for the out. Batting none. The third baseman. Third baseman. Ja. Ja. Rojas. Here's Josh Rojas. And a foul ball. One out, base is empty. Up the middle, Story. Already two Eight out here in the home half of inning number two. The batter, number three, shortstop, J.P. Here's the Crawford. Mariners' leadoff man, J.P. Crawford. A walk and a run scored his first time. Down the middle for a strike. And it's 0-1. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Two down, nobody on. That one ripped, but foul. And the righty deals. That one, one way inside. Two out spaces empty. Ball Off two. the mark there. And two that's ball, ball two. two Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Wouldn't Full chase count. that time. Julio Rodriguez on deck for the ends. Two outs. Four. And down on Three. strikes he goes. Three up, three down, inning over. Mariners are down in order, but they're on top two nothing. Top half of the Lee third inning. Ball, ball, ball. Joe stepping in for the Boston, number forty-seven. Manuel Valdez. Castillo back to work Three and high. immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. drive and that's base hit out into center field so a man on base to start the inning so singy let's dive into the numbers courtesy of Statcast. do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard no i don't think so boog i mean that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter you square it up perfectly and it's like you didn't even swing the bat and there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit.
sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see yeah, that. Yeah. It almost makes you think right. that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Now batting Jaron Duran. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. The pitch. Out there to center. Rodriguez racing after it. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. Two way down. Man aboard, now and down. here is Those Devers. He's okay. over one. Yep, yep. First Whoa. pitch just misses. Yeah. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Red Sox down by a pair. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one drilled left field. Fair ball. Lead runner around second. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Here's Trevor Story now. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That's, yeah, that's outside. 1-0. Two outs, two in scoring position. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Two on, two outs. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. adrenaline we can see it right there and sometimes you just got to let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning back in Seattle we go. as we go to the last of the third and stepping in for the Mariners Julio Rodriguez the line and the pitch Splits the plate, and that is strike one. Well, these Mariners did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Wasting no time. He's two for two now. on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle seriously we're starting with this already and now for Seattle Jorge Polanco grounded out his first time up the kick in the pitch runner goes swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side Ball. next offering is down low still relatively early but with the pair of runs already on the board the ripple effect of that high pitch count Two, might set him up to do more damage later in this game in there oh, safely yeah. 
Runner in scoring position. Nobody out here in the last half of the third. Good eye in that spot. 3-1. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. Full count. The pitch. Good That's plate the appearance Makes there. The Able to take the walk. Got a great back now, and forth in that at bat. Get to play off some really yeah. close pitches. And no, no, no. somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Garver oh. in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Right oh. through there for a strike. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. The one, two. Ball. And another ball. It is interesting, though, two, two. when you consider the way the game is run now, it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Duran makes the grab one down. Now the Mariners now catcher, Cal Raleigh. Cal Raleigh. That misses the zone. Ball one. Rodriguez, the lead runner at second. Polanco over at first with one away. No. And a good eye there. Two Could ball. be some action here no on this strike. next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Ah. There's a strike. And it's two and one. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds. They're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Ball three. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Three balls, one strike. And he deals. And it's That's ball, ball four. He Make missed down low. Well, he's been in a very giving mood today. The Base is loaded three. with one away. And up next for Seattle, no. Ty France. Good. Gold opportunity right here. No. Close one doesn't get the call. And that is ball one. Ball that one missed. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. In situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. There's a strike. And a run comes in to score. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there, and now oh, forces oh, home oh, around oh, with oh, the ball. This oh, inning is oh, definitely oh, getting away from him. Really? In the box now. No balls in a strike. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch no inside ball. the zone and trust it. And the right-hander deals. Ball. That misses. And the count is one and two. One ball. Two strikes. And the pitch. Ball. Got him swinging. Three. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Grounded out his the first right time. Mitch. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Big moment in this game. Two outs, two runners in scoring position, and can really break this thing wide open early. Kicks and fires. Off the mark there, and it's one and two. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Devers drifts towards it. And that will end the inning.
And we're back out of the fourth at the play. Tristan Casas. And the right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Red Sox, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases are turning into a bunch of outs. That one is absolutely belted. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. O'Neill stands in now and watches strike one. The M's leading by three. Top half of inning number four. Yes, it misses. It's a strikeout. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. He popped out his first time. Yoshida. Ball. ball one, no strikes. One ball, no strike. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Rayleigh snags it, and that is that. Ready to go, bottom four, and stepping in for the Mariners, Josh Rojas. And a pitch. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Oh one. The next offering misses, and it's one and one. Rocketed out towards right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. J.P. Crawford up three. next for the Mariners. Strikeout and one. Crawford. Pitch is in for a strike. Going one. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Lifted in the air. Right field. Rafaela moving under this one. Brings it in. Out. Number two. And stepping the in field is field. the Number speedy three. Julio Rodriguez. Julio. Outfield playing Rodriguez. very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. No. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And there's a foul ball. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. Two down, nobody on. Bounce it off, still one and two. The wind of the pitch. Ball. Two ball, two strike. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And downstairs. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Lace down the line. Put the extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Throws to second. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Man, that was a pretty good battle to play. And I'll tell you, it feels pretty good as a hitter when you grind out a hit like that. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Polanco up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Rodriguez stands at second with two gone. Next pitch in for a strike and a count one and one. Ball. That's down and in. Man on second, two down. On the ground to third. Throw is low and he can't pick it. Mitch Garver up now to him here. The designated hitter, Mitch Garver. Slap the other way, foul. 
Corners are occupied with two down. Ball. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Ball. Up and in, and a count two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Back here with my pal Ziggy. And now the right fielder, Zidane Rafaela. Rafaela. And a pitch. Rafaela oh, goes five feet nine inches, 23 years old, and he's a native of Curacao. And ball one. The wine of the pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. The high heat too much on that one. Now it's the second baseman, number 47. And he's already singled in this game. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. The 0-2. Bounce to the left side. Rojas throws out the first. Out. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Connor Wong. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Right through there for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitch. Outs. And that one fouled off. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Two down, nobody on. Ball and three. now the count is full. full count. And another power hitter lurking in the on-deck circle. Outside, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive There's secondary seven. lead. So ball yeah, down yeah, the yeah. line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Duran in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. No. Inside just missed. One ball. Oh, he's One so strike. great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little two. bit so he doesn't have as much outside One, plate two. coverage. And now it's one and two. Ball, Just no. off the outside part of the plate. It's a good take. That oh, one misses, and that's ball three. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And they'll do it again. The Mariners leading by three, and we're at the top of the fifth. That's out to center field. Rodriguez settles under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Zach Kelly. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Number 76, Zach 
Kelly. And now the catcher Way comes to up to him. Cal Raleigh. Raleigh. The catcher. Cal Raleigh. The pitch. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. Waste no time there. Really good swing no, right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. France in the box again. Takes a strike. Kelly in his second season. He features a four-seam fastball. A changeup. A slider. And he works in a two-seamer. Swings through that one for strike two. No ball. Two strikes. Line drive. O'Neal pulls it in on the run. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Rayleigh no, that's up for the third time and takes ball one. One ball, no strike. That one hit to right. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Mitch Hanniger up next for the Mariners. First oh, pitch, no. and he just misses. 1-0. Raleigh off of first with two away. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Brings it in for the third out. Top six. Now it's Devers at the plate. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. But there's on base and slugging, too. This is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. But you want. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. And oh, another ball. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. There's over two with a pair of strikeouts. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. That to right, that gets down for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. With the way defenders track now down balls ball. these days, I mean, both from the infield first and in the outfield, there really uh -huh. aren't a lot of base hits on balls He's hit eight. like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now batting Tristan Casas. No. Just missed. a stolen base. Oh, no, he doesn't get the, the call. Two and one. Two balls. One strike. Ball. And delivers outside. Definitely a frustrating Three day one. for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing ah. speeds. Just a difficult one. You took okay. your count. Runner at second here, one gone. That's a Ball good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. Up next, here's, here's Tyler O'Neill. Struck out on just three pitches Byline. last time. Oh, yeah.
ball. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball one. Two on, one out. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Ball. That one misses, and it's two and two. two, two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. With the tying run at the plate, and we're in the top half of the sixth. In the air, left field, Rayleigh under it. Pulls it in, and there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. That's a hit. Story on his way home. He'll score easily, and it's now a two-run game. Picks himself up yeah, an RBI. Yeah. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. Rafaela in the box now, takes strike one. Two on, two outs. And he hits a ground ball right side. Polanco tosses He's to out. first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Well, we go bottom six. And now for Seattle, Josh Rojas. The right-hander back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Strike two. Man, that was pretty gross oh, right there. Left-hand batter waits. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. A defensive swing right there. Some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after Ball. that one. And one and two. Outside. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. The why to kick the pitch. Foul ball, another two two upcoming. Fly ball center field. Tracks it down for the out. And there's one down. And up next for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. And that one wrapped foul. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Going two now. Right side, Casas. And he handles out. it himself for the out. Two now outs, base is empty. Now, Julio Rodriguez. Three for threes, double twice and single. Pitch misses, and it's 1-0. 1-0. That one fouled off. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Ball that two. one misses. Now two balls two and a one. strike. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Two. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, yeah. Lift 
lifted in the air right center field. Duran sizing this one up. He makes the grab and that ends the inning. Seventh, leading off number 47. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It yeah. was a little rough to sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Ball Next one. pitch is outside. One ball, one strike. Just no. off the outside edge. Two balls Two ball. and a strike. One strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Still two and two after the foul ball. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off-speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't oh, yeah. know what's coming next. Here comes a pitch. <laughs> Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. Yeah. Shoots a line drive single into right center. And now the lineup turns over with one away. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Duran in the box now. Takes strike one. Now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Tying run at the plate. One, two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Here's Rafael Devers. You want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. And he takes a strike. Oh, and an 0-0 count. Not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. And a strike to Devers. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. The tying run at the plate. Oh, and the swing and a miss. And the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen. Back at T-Mobile Park, go. bottom Let's of the seventh, go. and stepping in for the Mariners, Jorge Polanco. Oh, Kelly, oh, back oh, to work. Ball. ball one there. One ball, no strike. Ball. And that's a little bit high. And now 2-0. Ball and three. another ball. And he walked him. That base. could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batter's on base. Now we'll now see now. if the next guy that waits until there's hitter. a called strike before Mid he hit. takes the bat off the short. Oh. Oh. Garver, oh. the next to hit, takes ball one. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. O'Neill going back on. Yes, and gone. That should put a jolt into this old crowd. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 5-1. Now the Mariners catcher, Cal Raleigh. That's First pitch misses. Can be tough to bounce no, no. back after big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning.
Swings and misses. And that's strike one. One one. Swings Two. through that one out in front that one time. Ball. Man, he Two really strikes. sells the changeup with that arm action. That ball. misses the zone. The count now two and two. Pulls the three. string with the changeup, struck him out. Ty France, the, the next three. to hit, Double one for two. Three. That one finds the zone, strike one. Ball Slider one. misses outside. One ball, one strike. One one now. Swung on, belted. That's back. At the wall, can't make the catch, but I think he brought it back. France in the second, and he's got a double. All over that one right there. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the Joe three James three. will take now, over now. here. And they felt it was time that to bring on a left-handed reliever from the yeah. pin with the lefty hitter coming yeah. up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Man at second with one away. And now for Seattle, Luke Rayleigh. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. 1 0. That one misses. Ball one. Two runs across in the inning. Here, the bottom of the seventh. Hike. On the inside corner for a strike. Almost got him. Two one. Man at second. On the ground, right side. And he grabs it. Foul. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. Ball That's three. inside. Full count Full three count. and two. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Flying around third is France. He's safe. Hey. Comes through with the RBI. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bob with so many positives that led to that knock. No. Hanniger in the box with one away as he takes ball one. The 1-0. They Hi. say you win. 1-1. One, one. And now the lefty three swings right, three. through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's Number two away. Four. Josh Rojas yeah, yeah. getting ready. in the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. And a swing and a miss. The pitch started in no and ended strike. up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. This one chopped to first. Inning over. Out. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Trent Thornton. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes You're when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't there. have the same intensity as Number a tight game. Six. So we'll see how Four. sharp he is. Your mental toughness Four. matters in situations like this as well. And stepping in for Boston, Trevor Story. Trevor One for three. Story. And 
here comes Thorne. Ball. In his fourth year, One 30 ball. years no old strike. now, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Ball. The shortstop no. takes a ball. Swing and a pop-up foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. And the righty deals. Ball and that three. one is inside. Three ball, one strike. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. France hauls it in, and there's one away. The so here's Boston's cleanup hitter, person. Tristan Casas. No, Just that's the ball. missed. Ball and two. another ball. Outside three and one now. Hit hard on the ground is short. Crawford throws to first in time. Two up, two down here in the top of the eight. Up next for the and next for the Red Sox, the Tyler O'Neill. Tyler O'Neill. Now fly ball to right center. Rodriguez makes the grab on the run. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Brennan Bernardino. Things got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but... He's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Leading off. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. The pitch. Strike one. No ball. One strike. One ball. one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And the pitch. On the ground, out to short. On the run, throw to first. That's and that's out. one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. So up next, Julio Rodriguez. Right side. Rafaela makes the catch. Two down. No batter. No and now it's the switch inning second, second baseman, base. Jorge Polanco. Jorge. Outfield playing very oh, deep, oh, oh. not wanting anything over their heads. And he deals. And it's fouled away. Two outs. Fights that one away, still one and two. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. And a pitch. Wow. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. It's the top of the ninth, and now there's a new pitcher on the mound, Gabe Spire. Number Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter hey. coming up to hit. Classic bullpen oh, move yeah. right here, so we'll see how it works out. Here now the Red Sox DH, Red Masataka Yoshida. Masataka Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. 
The pitch. Fought off foul. The pitch. And that one is inside ball one. Check swing, no appeal. Really Two good ball. check swing right One there. Strike. So difficult to hold off on the slider from a same side thrower. Very difficult to pick up the release point. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. And yeah, that's outside. Line drive, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Textbook right, back right, control right, right there. Got a the pitch on the outside. Right, saw right, it yeah, deep yeah. into the zone and just barreled it up. Went the other way for the knock. And here is Sedane Rafaela. 1-0. Swing and a miss, and that's one strike one. one. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, Ball. I'm just going to keep the, the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Two. And strike two. Two ball, two strike. Got ah, it three. looking. That's a strike. Oh. Yeah. Man at first, Joe stepping in for Boston, number 47. Valdez. In the air, left field, down the line. And it's caught for the out. So it's their last chance in this one. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. First offering and it just misses. One ball, no strike. Ball. And another ball. Yoshida, the runner at first with two gone. Oh. Next offering is in for a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. That one to first. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.